Hello, Dillshot from Carolina Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. We spoke briefly on the phone today. So I'm going to show you three ways that you could beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video, you have any questions, you know, feel free. We can set up a time and I can answer those for you. And, you know, if not, you can take the info that I'm going to give you today and you could definitely use it yourself. Or if you have someone that does some of this, you know, you could show them as well. All right, so what three things we'll talk about today are going to be content, backlinks, and citations. So the first thing we'll talk about is content. Now, normally I would show you on your page, um, but I'm on your, as you can see, I'm on your Facebook page. And um, your website, actually, that was on there, that your link was, it looks like it's currently down right now. So I wasn't able to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to one of your competitors, Monarch Roofing. Oh, there we go. And... Um, I can kind of show you the same thing with their page. So the reason I'm using Monarch is because they're one of the top results in the Myrtle Beach area. And so obviously the goal is to get, you know, towards the top of the rankings and Monarch right now is the top actual company up there. And so they'd be the ones that you'd want to kind of see what they're doing. And then of course, beat them and do more, right? You want to beat them in the three things that we'll talk about and that would get you ahead of them. So first thing is content, right? And you can see they clearly do not have 1,500 to 2,000 words of content, which is what Google recommends. The reason that they want so much content on a homepage is because then they know that you're giving a lot of information out. And essentially, you know, they're, you're offering a service, which would be education in this sense. And that's something that they want really every website to offer one of a few things. If it's, if it's selling something, it's a service, or if it's education as a service or something like that. So the other reason, though, that you do want that much content is because the more content you can you have on your page, the more keywords or keyword phrases you can put into that content. And these are what really bring in the actual visitors and views to your website. So I've used Myrtle Beach Roofing as my keyword phrase here. The reason why is because it's one of the better ones in the area. It's got 150 people that search it every single month. Um, just into Google just like this. So that's why I've used it. It's also what new customers would search. You can tell it doesn't have a, a actual company name attached. It's for someone who's searching for a roofer in the area. So the first thing they would find would be these ads at the top of the screen. Next thing they're going to find is this map section, also called GMB or Google My Business. And um, you can see here that there's three companies that show up in the little preview window. And the way they got here was just the citations. And that's when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. These are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor. And um, you also could use your social media. So for instance, your Facebook business page that you have, if on the website address, which I believe you did have there, you had your, your web address. And as long as, of course, it's the exact same, that's a site pointing back, that would be a citation. And um, that would give you just one more on there. The more you have, the better and the stronger that they are related to your field, the stronger they are for your site, and they're going to um, help you even more. After that, we're going to find the organic section. We're going to get 10 results that show up here per page. And at the very bottom, there is uh, some more ads as well. And these show up in reference to Myrtle Beach Roofing, which was our keyword, so we can rank the results according. So in this one, number one goes to Better Business Bureau. Number two goes to Monarch Roofing, which is what we talked about and three goes to Myrtle Beach Roofing. Now, Better Business Bureau is a directory, so the fact that they're number one ahead of Monarch is a good thing. It tells us Monarch is very beatable because Google actually prefers local companies to be ranked ahead of uh, directory sites. So next up, I took, even though your website's down, I can still analyze it. So I put your web address in, carolinaroofinggmb.com, so this must be your, uh, oh, sorry, mb.com. And so, um, I can see here that you don't have a header on your page when you did have it. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's been down for or how much you were able to do with it before all that. I do see that one um, referring domain and backlink are showing up. And I'll just quickly explain what these are. So a referring domain is just a website that you have a link on and a backlink is the actual link. So just like we talked about with your Facebook, your Facebook uh, business page would be your referring domain. The backlink would be the actual link where you put the web address and you put in uh, carolinaroofingmb.com. And so that would be a backlink. You can have multiple links per website. The more of these you have, their UR, which is a number, and it's a little wheel that kind of lights up. I'll show you it on the uh, Monarch. The more you have, the stronger your site is, because these sites are essentially vouching for you, saying this is a legit site. They, you know, they're, they're good. We trust them. 
and that's what's going to actually power up your keywords to be found. Right now, we're finding there's no keywords being found, and that's bringing no visitors currently. So I'll hop over to Monarch, show you what they're doing. We see their header at the top of the page here. Here's their business name and then a few little keywords. You can see they have 367 referring domains. Send them back over 2,000 links to their site. And their trust is at a 38, so that's powering them to be able to find about 396 keywords they can be found for. And that's bringing about 473 actual visitors to their website. So what I'll do next is just click the keywords. We can take a look at a few of them. First up, we see Monarch Roofing, their business name. This one's a national term because they have multiple branches. That's why there's such huge volume on it. So I'm going to actually jump down to this one. Monarch Roofing, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So what we're talking about. So 70 people search this exact phrase every single month. And for this, they are in the first position. So we know there's 10 results that show up per website, per uh, Google page. So on page one, there's 10 results. So if you want to be on page one, you just have to be in the top 10 for position. The higher up your, you are rated, the more, the bigger percentage you'll get of the volume. So number one typically can get you between, usually it's 20 and 35% and of the actual total volume to your site. So we can see right now being number one for Monarch Roofing, uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, they're getting 22 visitors of the 70 coming to their actual website. But then, so people who know who you are, they know who you are if they're searching you by name. Um, it's gonna be some of your referrals, probably people who saw your signs. But then you wanna bring in the new customers who are just looking on Google, right? So Roofing Company, Myrtle Beach, 70 people search that every month. They're number two, so they're going to get 10 of the 70 by being number two. And then the one we use, Myrtle Beach Roofing, 150 people search it every month. And uh, six, they're number six for this one, so they're going to get eight of the 150 by being number six. So you can see the difference at number six and number one where you're getting a smaller percentage. All right, so that's kind of just the uh, general idea of it. You know, now that you have seen, um, you know, all the information, really there's three options that you have. If you're happy with where you're at, maybe you're getting some leads through your Facebook page. You know, you're not looking to grow anymore. Obviously, you don't have to do anything with the information. And, um, you know, if you're looking to grow, though, and you want to potentially fix your website right now that we're on, then, you know, maybe you have someone that you're working with. If you do, you could show them the video. It's got some great tips in it. If you don't have anyone you're working with and you do want to grow, maybe you have someone that you're not happy with, you know, definitely reach out. I can answer any questions for you um, and help you out with anything. And I will give you just a call in a day or so and ask you what you thought of the video and hopefully you found it helpful. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.